To turn on the 3060 with filled Foreman, press on the yellow button until the red light comes on, then release. To import the data from filled Foreman PC, take your USB stick and insert it on the right side USB port on the 3060. To import the data from filled Foreman PC on the USB, from the filled Foreman main menu, press the user setup import button. Then press import setup. You're asked whether you would want to overwrite the existing setup data. Press yes and press yes again. Once data has successfully transferred, an icon pops up notifying you. You can then press OK. After downloading data from the USB stick, be sure to remove it and screw on the water resistant dust cap. To begin recording harvest data, press the green card icon on the main menu screen. Press the field area to select which field you are in. You can use the arrow button to scroll up and down. Choose the field, then press select. The hybrids that have been signed to that field will now appear. Choose the hybrid that you are currently harvesting and press select. The ID field is located at the bottom and is an optional field. It can be customized to meet your operations needs. In this case, we are actually tracking each individual combine on the operation. This will allow us to view data per combine at the end of the day and then make any necessary adjustments to uh, rotary speed, etc. to help improve combine performance if we have any outliers. The harvest note is located on the middle left of the screen. It is an optional data tracking field that can be used to track data for each individual load. In this case, we are tracking which parts of the field have been treated with fungicide and which ones haven't to compare yields. To enter in a note, just simply start pressing what you want to type in. Then press the enter button on the bottom right. The harvest note will stay with each individual load until it is deleted. To delete a harvest note, simply press on the harvest note, then press on the X button on the bottom right side. Now the harvest note section is empty and ready for you to enter in any new data that you want to track. Press the truck field to select which truck you are going to be loading into. Once you choose your truck, press the select button. If the smart load icon is highlighted, it signifies that smart load is on. If the icon is grayed out, it signifies that smart load is turned off. Smart load is an advanced auto start and auto save function for the field foreman. Smart load automatically senses the change in weight when the grain cart starts on loading and automatically starts recording the transaction from the original starting weight. Once it senses the weight has stopped dropping, it auto saves the transaction. Eliminating the need to press start and save for transactions greatly reduces the chance for human error during the busy harvest time. This creates a more accurate record of your harvest data. This system requires no cables, sensors, or connections, eliminating common failure points for similar solutions on the market. Installation is as simple as hooking up your indicator. Both these features greatly reduce the potential for operator error mechanical failure. This greatly simplifies the harvest process for your operation. You're now taken to the harvest on load screen. Three weights are clearly displayed. The weight on the left is the grain weight in the cart. The weight in the middle is the truck's net weight. And the weight on the right is the truck's gross weight. The tear weight can be seen in the top left corner of the gray bar. The max on the right side signifies the target weight for this particular truck. The target weight is also what signals the output to control the smart gate. The smart gate is an optional kit which can control an electric over hydraulic auger gate or auger. Once the target gross weight is reached for the truck, the smart gate kit automatically closes the auger gate. This helps eliminate the human error factor in potentially overloading a truck. Check with your grain cart OEM dealer to verify compatibility with your grain cart. In this case, the red light signifies when that output is turned on. In the bottom middle of the screen, you will see that the field, truck, and note are all clearly displayed. If the smart load is on, you do not need to press anything in the harvest on load screen. If you have turned smart load off, you need to press the save button once you're done unloading. If it takes multiple loads to fill your truck, you will notice on the harvest on load screen that it shows what you have previously loaded. 
The light blue bar shows what you're adding to what was previously loaded. All pertinent data is displayed here for you to view on the harvest on load data screen. If there's any changes that need to be made, you have 10 seconds to press the change button. From here, you can change what truck you just unloaded into, location you're delivering to, your ID, the note, and the grain moisture. To change grain moisture, simply press on the number and enter in the moisture. Or to change grain moisture, you can press the arrows up and down. In this case, the truck was routed to go to home storage, but we found out that the wet storage bin is full. So in this case, we're going to reroute it to the farmer's co-op for delivery. Once all changes have been made, press the back button and then press OK. The reset truck weight button is located on the top right side of the screen. This button is commonly used when you're only using one truck to haul grain from the field. In this case, since we have not selected any other trucks to load, we still show how much we loaded on the truck from the last load. You simply press the reset truck weight and then the reset button to set the truck's net weight back down to zero. The previous transaction has already been recorded and now you're ready to start unloading again into that truck. Press the summary tab to get a summary of what has been harvested from that field. In this case, 1,529,530 pounds have been harvested from the home quarter, which is 27,313 bushels. All of this has been of the Pioneer 35 F49 AM hybrid. And of that, 336,160 pounds has been hauled by the Kenworth, or 6,002 Point nine bushels. Total of 798,350 pounds has been delivered to the farmer's co-op or 14,256.2 bushels from the home quarter. To get out of the summary screen, simply press the back button. You will notice in the upper right corner of the monitor a crescent moon. This enables night mode. This is very beneficial for when you're operating at night to reduce the glare from the screen. When you're ready to view the screen, simply tap on the screen anywhere and you will exit from night mode. To export harvest transaction data to field form and PC, insert the USB and then from the main screen, press the report export button on the bottom left. Then on the bottom right, press the export transaction button. You are then asked if you would like to export those transactions, press yes. A pop-up will then appear notifying you have successfully exported the transaction data to your USB stick. Press OK, then press back to return to the home screen. You are now ready to start taking grain from the combine. This was a quick start overview for field foreman on the 3060 touchscreen. If you have further questions, please refer to your user manual or our website www.agscales.com.